now that the cold wet weather hits, I'll have kids sent to my office almost daily without, without the appropriate winter clothing, whether it's they don't have boots, they don't have snow pants, or even hats or mittens. And Mom, we're at noon play, and there's, there's kids that don't have coats and don't have hats, and this would be a really good thing. And so they talk to their friends, and then they talk to their friends. And um, at one point, I had 25 kids in my garage sorting coats. We donate a lot of jackets and winter clothes for the people who don't, like they can't afford it. Well, we're bringing other people's coats that they aren't really using and that are too small for them. We're just giving away coats and snow pants and stuff. At the beginning of the month, we handed out a flyer to all the kids. We've been trying to advertise it throughout our community in the newspaper and also it's been going home with the kids at school. To, to really think about um, donating to the Team Up to Warm Up. I donated six coats. I just found a bunch of coats laying around the house. I know that we don't use them anymore, so might as well donate them. They see the recycling process too, that you know we have these coats sitting in our closet, why wouldn't we give them to someone who needs them? Um, all four schools, because we do have a community ed building, so then at the elementary, at the middle, and at the high school. We contacted all the churches, um, the grocery store, the bank, and the drugstore. And the kids really took a, a big part in it and they, they felt so good about organizing the coats and collecting the coats and then um, distributing the coats. It was, it was really heartwarming to see how um, much it impacted the community and how many people came out on that distribution day. Obviously there's a sorting process involved in this. You don't just throw it all in a heap and bring it over here to the location. I mean, it's a process of hours of sitting out in a garage, cold nights sometimes. Kids are all willing to pitch in and help out. To be honest with you, it's pretty hard to believe these, this was all in my garage. I look around, it's pretty amazing. So. Classic Hall was very generous and donated the space. Um, we were able to get in there Friday night to set up and then Saturday from 11 to 2. At quarter to 11, there were 30 people in the lobby waiting for us to open the door. And I, I knew right there that we will be doing this again next year because there, there, there is a need and it, it's not going away anytime soon. In my opinion, you got young and old helping out young and old in the community. And that's a winning deal. I... It just sounded like fun. Because it just makes you feel good for donating. I think everyone should donate because not a lot of people have the stuff that we have. I want people to have a good winter and to be warm so then they can play outside or anything like that. We started the day with about 375 coats and snow pants. At the end we had about 100 left that we bagged up so do the math. We did 275 coats and snow pants and lots of hats and mittens. But I think it's even more important for kids to see that this is going to stay right here in our town. It's their neighbors, it's their friends, it's people they go to school with. So, um, you know, it's nice to keep it right here locally.